his power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Breaks every chain, 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 breaks every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power. In the name of Jesus, break every chain, 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 break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. Let's sing together. There is power in the name of Jesus that breaks every chain, to break 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 every chain, break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. church. Amen. Praise the Lord once more. Amen. I would like to welcome you, those who are here and those watching us online. We are going to start with our welcome hymn, song 68, Trust and Obey, led by the praise team. Thank you. When we walk with the Lord, in the light of His word, what a glory He sheds on Away. While we do His good will, He abides with us still, and with all who will trust and obey. So trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust. And obey Not a shadow Not a cloud in the skies But his smile quickly drives it away Not a doubt or a fear Not a sign or a tear Can abide while we trust him Obey, so trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Not a burden we bear, not a sorrow we share. But our toil he does bridge we repay Not a grief nor a loss Not a frown nor a cross But he's blessed if we trust and obey so trust, trust and obey For there's no other way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Then in fellowship sweet, we will sit at His feet, or we'll walk by His side in the way. What He says we will do, when He says we will go. Never fear, only trust and obey. So trust and obey, for there's no other 
way to be happy in Jesus, but to trust and obey. Let us appreciate the praise team. have our call to worship from Colossians chapter 3 verse 24. It's the Bible says, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Christ you are serving. Let us say it all together. Colossians chapter 3 verse 24. The Bible says, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward, it is the Lord Christ you are serving. Thank you. We will have praise in worship led by the praise team. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. There is something today in the house of the Lord. There is something today in the house of the Lord. There is something today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah today in the house of the Lord. There is something today in the house of the Lord. There is something today in the house of the Lord. There is something today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah today in the house of the Lord. Oh, there is something today in the house of the Lord. There is something today in the house of the Lord. There is something today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah today in the house of the Lord. There is healing today in the house of the Lord. There is healing today in the house of the Lord. There is healing today. Hallelujah today in the house of the Lord. Oh, there is healing today in the house of the Father. There is healing today in the house of the Lord. There is healing today in the house of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah today in the house of the Lord. Oh, there is something today in the house of the Father. There is something today in the house of the Lord. Something there is healing there is something today in the house of the Lord. There is something today in the house of the Lord. There is something today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah today in the house of the Lord. There is something today in the house of the Lord. There is something today in the house of the Lord. There is something today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah today in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Shabbat shalom. Hallelujah. I love you so, so much, Ebenezer, Ebenezer, what 
the Lord. Let's worship our God. For He is wonderful. He's done marvelous things in our lives. He has saved us this morning. Just worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. so that we can pray. God, you are wonderful. God, you are Alpha and Omega. God, you are everything in this earth. Yes. God, we praise you. God, you are honest. Yes. I pray that and believe in Jesus' name. Amen. Kemachana tombe. Baba tuna kujambele zako tukusamani ya sante kwa siku ya leo mungu. Tumamuka salama mungu na tunapo. Sumani nolako, lingie mungu. Tunasamani ya sante. Mungu tunombo, tunajua. Mungu tunombo sadie nchietu. Kwa sadie wengine mungu. Mungu kuna ingina wana nyumba wana uhai mungu. Tunombo kape na wape baraka mungu. Mungu wataweza kusaidia kuna uenye wanasafiri mungu. Ukawe upendo na afike penya nenda salama mungu. Na mungu hata sisi wenye hata kuna nyanja kuja kansani mungu. Ukawe nao na kape nguvu mungu. Na kuna nyo mungu wata wagonjwa mungu kawabariki na waweze kutoka hospitalini mungu. Ukawafungulie njia ya pesa. Mungu hata wenye wana kazi mungu kaape na wape uhaina, wape baraka mungu. Tunasema ni asante. Tumamuka salama tuka kuja kansani mungu. Tutasema ni asante. Wewe ni muema. Jesus name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. May we be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive us to trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You are wonderful. You are worthy. appreciate the praise team and the children who have prayed for us. We'll have our presentations by the Hosanna praises.
There seems to be a technical challenge. Bwana sifiwe. And we shall praise the Lord. Kwa sababu mungu wetu yuhai, we shall just sing a common song that praises the Lord from our heart. Amen. And it's actually a chorus. So tusimame tu, tuseme injili iende mbele. Bwana sifiwe. Because the song we had pre- prepared to minister for, we will do it next Sunday. Bwana sifiwe. Ebu tuseme injili iende mbele katika jina la Yesu. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yende wapi injili o Yende wapi injili ya Yesu Yende bele Yende wapi injili o Yende bele Yende wapi injili ya Yesu Yende bele Na ndio maana Ndio maana tunasema yende bele Ndio maana Ndio maana tunasema yende bele Na ndio maana Ndio maana tunasema yende bele Ndio maana Ndio maana Moto moto injilio moto 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 injilia Yesu moto moto inaponya injilio moto moto inaponya injilia Yesu moto moto ndio maana ndio maana tunasema yende mbele maana ndio maana tunasema yende mbele ndio maana ndio maana tunasema yende mbele Let us appreciate those Anna praises. We'll have Elder Benson Mwangi lead us the Apostle Creed, pray for the children, teens, and youth. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. That is audible enough. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. So it's time for prayers for the children, uh, teens and youths. And today is Brigade Sunday. Kwa hivyo as we do that, the Brigade team should be at the front end. Bwana asifiwe. Kwa hivyo nitawalika hapa. Also children who are in our midst, uh, teens, wanaeza kuja hapa tufanye whatever you'll do together and the Lord will bless us. The brigade team has told us that today there is something in the house of the Lord. And today, they'll tell us what they have for the Lord. We have a presentation? Yes, so even as they come, let's appreciate them as they come. And first of all, have a brief presentation together. And then from there we'll that's what we believe in and then we'll conclude the prayers. Our memory verse comes from the book of Colossians chapter 3 verse 20 to 21. The Bible says, Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not embitter your children or they will become discouraged. Let's clap for them. So we'll we'll have the Apostles' Creed, and I believe we all know the Apostles' Creed. So let's confess what we believe in, and we'll do it together and with a lot of energy. 
even if it's cold this morning, there is joy in the presence of the Lord. So I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ his only and our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried, he descended into hell, on the third day he arose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and he sits on the right heart of God the Father Almighty. From there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. So let's close our eyes and we pray. Our Father our, and our God, this wonderful morning, we are at your presence. Lord, we are at your feet. And Lord, we are grateful for yet another week, a week of victory, a week of success. This wonderful day, Abba Father, we are grateful as young people, even led by the brigade team, Abba Father. We have seen you, King of Glory. Thank you for that assurance this wonderful morning. The Lord, you giving us an, an, an inheritance. What a reward from you, King of Glory. The Lord, by serving you, Abba Father, that you have given us an assurance. As a young children, as brigade team, Abba Father, we are grateful, Heavenly Father. We are here to proclaim that there is none like you. We are here to invite your presence as we continue, Abba Father. We are grateful for the little children in our families, Abba Father. Them that are the, the, the care of their parents, them that are the care of their guardians, Abba Father. The retro children who are our siblings, those who, some of them who are at home, Abba Father. We surrender them to you, King of Glory. As the little ones grow, Abba Father, just like you commanded, let the little children come to you. These dear ones have been gathered in your presence because they know in your presence there is joy. In your presence this morning, there is fulfillment. In your presence, there is love. And above all, there is forgiveness. We give you all the glory for all the ritual children, praying for their protection in everything, O King of Glory. As they are being brought up, Abba Father, our prayer is that, Lord, you protect them, Abba Father. Uh, guard them from all forms of attacks by the enemy. Guard them from sicknesses, O King of Glory. Guard them from uh, lack of even the basic needs, King of Glory. We worship you and we honor you. Even as we celebrate today being Brigade Sunday, King of Glory, we commit the boys and the girls in our midst. Heavenly Father, when we look at them, Abba Father, we see there is a future for our hope, for our church, and even for our community. Thanking you King of glory for the testimony they are saying about Father, the Lord you have been Ebenezer in the eyes of our Father. We commit the brigade, the entire brigade team unto you, King of Glory. We pray, Abba Father, even as they seek you, King of Glory, that Lord you not hide your face away from them, Abba Father. The Lord, even as they worship to the King of Glory, the Lord you are going to accept their praises and their worship, Abba Father. Even if they are ritual ones, Abba Father, you delight in their praises. You delight in their presence today, King of Glory. Heavenly Father, we call even we pray even for the teens, O King of Glory, thanking you, Abba Father, for you have been with them, Abba Father. Throughout, Abba Father, the season they were in school and now they are top, Abba Father. Even the little children, even all the members of Brigade, Abba Father, you have been faithful, O Lord Almighty. Throughout that term that has added, Abba Father, were it not for you, King of Glory, we will not be studying here, Abba Father. But because of your love, Abba Father, we are here to celebrate your life and even the gift of life that you have endowed upon the young people, King of Glory. Thank you for protecting all the, uh, the learners in school, Abba Father, and we are grateful for the this time they will be at home, Abba Father. We pray that you may surround them with your protection, Abba Father. Every day they rise up, Abba Father, 
They let the enemy know that they are your soldiers. And King of glory, they'll never be defeated. And the promises you have for them, Abba Father, the good plans that you make them to fulfillment, Abba Father. We even remember, Abba Father, uh, provisions for everything they need, Abba Father. We commit their parents, Abba Father. We commit even their guardians. Even there are many out there, Abba Father, without uh, who are in the streets, King of glory. And as we, come, as we celebrate your provision, Remember those and have mercy upon them. Even these dear ones, Abba Father, they have many other needs, O King of Glory. Lord, even as they grow up, Abba Father, may they grow up just like you, Jesus. Even for the use, Abba Father, as they worship, as they discover themselves, Abba Father, we pray for your mercy. We pray for your direction. Make the young people to be fruitful. Make the little ones to be fruitful. Make them to be like that tree that is planted along the streams of the river, that knows, knows no drought, Abba Father, that is evergreen. That's our prayer this morning, that even brigade team, the children, the teens and the youths, they'll ever be green by just remaining in your wide yard, Abba Father. And even as we continue to worship and praise you in this service, Abba Father, we invite your Holy Spirit to reign. Reign in everything, Abba Father. And above all, King of glory, may the young people, may the children draw near your presence. May, you, may, may they experience your goodness. May they experience your grace. We worship you, we honor you, and we declare there is none like you. And it is in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray and give thanks. Amen. amen. And everyone say, amen. amen. Thank you. We may take our seats. We will now have our announcements for today. Elder Lea Karanja will give us the announcements. Welcome to PCN Nairobi West Church. Today is Brigade Sunday. We are so glad you are here with us. Whether you are joining us in person or online, we also welcome our visitors who have come to worship with us for the first time. Feel most welcome. Join us for a cup of tea at the tent outside the church where we have an usher who will provide more details that you may need. The timings for our services are as follows. English service, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. We have three services that happen at the same time. These are Kiswahili, Youth and teen services. They all start at 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Church school runs concurrently with the English and Kiswahili services. The South Beach Church starts at 10 a.m. to 12 noon. And the South Beach Church School starts at 8.30 a.m. If you would like to register as a church participant in PC Nairobi West Parish, please get in touch with the parish registrar, Elder Virginia Magondo, or see the ushers for assistance. Registration forms are readily available. Next Sunday, the 18th of August 2024, shall be the 10th Sunday. Districts on duty shall be English Service, Bellevue, Kiswahili Service, Riverside, Youth, Imaradaima, Church School, Parkview. All church members are reminded that the parish minister's office day is on Tuesdays and any other day on appointment. Those who wish to meet her are welcome. There will be Holy Communion on the 18th of August 2024 at South Beach Church. There will be Interdistrict Fellowship on the Wednesday of 21st August 2024 at PCN Nairobi West Church from 6 p.m. Holy Communion shall be administered. All parish and local groups and committees are requested to prepare, discuss, and submit their 2024-2025 calendar of events and budgets to the senior accountant by the 30th of August 2024. A template of the budget is available at the office. For any assistance, kindly get in touch with the senior accountant on 0721 700 146. There will be ceremonies in our parish as follows. On the 25th of August 2024 at PCN Nairobi West Church in the following order. Readmission and confirmation during the English service, 8 a.m. Baptism and Holy Communion during the Kiswahili service, 10.30 a.m. 
For infant baptism for full members, please register with Evangelist Karaoke on 0725-97-7310 by the 18th of August 2024. On 18th of August 2024 at South Beach Church, confirmation, infant baptism, and Holy Communion. Deadline for registration for full members is today, the 11th of August 2024. Registration forms are with the caretaker, Charity. The Y Summit 2024 will take place from the 13th to the 17th of August at Alliance Girls High School. This is a five-day forum for youths filled with learning, reflections, fellowship, and networking. Book your spot with the parish youth chairman, Meshach, on 0713-275964. Charges are 5,000 shillings per person. Church members are encouraged to support youth who are interested in attending the youth summit but cannot meet the expenses. The parish youth have planned a hike on the 24th of August 2024 at Eburu Forest. Charges are Kenya shillings 750 per person, payable by the 18th of August 2024 through the Congregational Youth Treasurers. Teens Ministry welcomes all teens for a pizza afternoon to be held on the 17th of August from 12 noon. Let's come together for the fun, fellowship, networking, and learning. PCMF mentorship engagement for those that attended Rite of Passage 2023 and those planning to attend for the Rite of Passage 2024 shall be held on the Sunday of 18th August 2024 from 2 to 4 p.m. Parents are requested to register their children with the PCMF secretary, Mr. Komu, on 0727-757810 for logistics purposes by the 11th of August 2024. Lunch will be provided. For the health of our members, we have ready first aiders on duty every Sunday. First aiders on duty today are Dr. Irene Nderitu and Priscilla Ndegua. The emergency room is the vestry. In case of anything, don't be afraid to speak out because we deeply care for you. The church school has organized a children's camp to be held from the 13th to the 16th of August 2024 at Brookshine Schools, Kamulu. Those to attend are children of grade 2 to grade 7 at a subsidized fee of Kenya shillings 3,500 per child channeled through the church pay bill number 566 740. The account, name of the child. The theme is Discovering Christ. Kindly pray for the event. Women's Guild will hold a mentorship follow up program on the 23rd of August 2023 from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. This is for the boys and girls who attended mentorship in December 2023. This will include their parents as it is a feedback session. Lunch will be served. TEE basic diploma course intake is ongoing. This is a 10 units course meeting once per week on the agreed day for 90 minutes. Register by sending Kenya shillings 500 to the church pay bill number 566740, account TEE, and forward the message to Evangelist Naftari Karaoke on 0725-977-310. To keep in touch, follow us on Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube at PCN Nairobi West. That's it for today's announcements. The man behind the mic is Peter Olumile Onzere. Thank you for joining us. Stay blessed. Amen. Let us appreciate Mr. Onzere. I want to take this opportunity to welcome any one of us who is worshipping with us for the very first time. We have any visitors worshiping with us this morning? Okay, it seems there is none, but I would request the choir to kindly stand up and welcome us as well. For so this is a new day, it is a cold day, but we thank God because of his presence. Welcome to PCA. Welcome, 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 welcome. 
Welcome to Nairobi. Welcome, 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 welcome to PCB. Welcome, 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 welcome to Nairobi. Sing rejoice. so much. We feel at the house of God this morning. I want you to also welcome the person next to you. Tell them it is the Lord God you're serving. Yes, even in this cold weather, your sacrifice to come to the house of God, it is because you're serving the Lord, and that is our brigade motto for this year. Uh, over and above that, we have one of us who is celebrating their birthday today, and you are going to invite the communication team as we join as he recites a memory verse. Thank you for listening to me. My name is Leah Karanja. I'm born again. Christ is Lord and Savior of my life. Thank you. My name is Bugumo Monene. This is my birthday month, and I've been meditating on the following verses from Psalms 19, verse 7 to 11. The law of the Lord is perfect converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold. Yeah, much fine gold, sweeter also than honey in the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned, and in keeping them is great reward. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you, Elder Lea, for the announcements. We'll now have prayer for tithes and offering by Elder Charles Kigotho. Praise God, church. Good morning and praise God. It's another time to express our thanksgiving through giving, uh, tithe, offerings, fast fruits, and any other form. So I want to invite the deacons to uh, guide us on how to go about this. And we are going to start from the back, following the arrows that have been marked. For those who may want to give through our pay bill number, our pay bill number remains the same, 566740, and then you indicate the purpose of giving. It could be tithe, offering, fast fruits, thanksgiving, and any other. 566740. Karibuni. Your name is Yahweh. You are a miracle, 
King God, your name is Yahweh. Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. You are a miracle, our King God, your name is Indeed, our God, that's our confession this morning that you are a miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. And you are God who is above everything in heavens and on earth. Lord, we come before you this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts for what you have done unto us. You have continued, Lord, to bless us in different ways, ways that we can express uh, through spoken words and even in ways that we cannot be able to express. Blessings that, Lord, we can see through our naked eyes and those that we cannot see with our human eyes. We want to thank you, Lord, because you have been faithful. We want to thank you for even this morning, Lord, you have brought us here to worship you. And Lord, by way of expressing our thanksgiving, we have brought part of our gifts and part of our, your blessings in our lives to, give, to say thank you. We want to ask you, Lord, to receive what we have uh, given here by way of tithe, offerings, thanksgiving, first fruits, and in any other way, Lord. We pray that, Father, you may continue meeting us at the various points of our needs, and, Lord, may you help us to continue trusting and believing in you. Lord, we know that amongst us here, there are those who could be struggling further financially, and each one of us, Lord, has presented a special prayer Praying that, Father, you may meet us, Lord, at this uh, particular point, various points, Lord. We pray that, Father, uh, your faithfulness will continue, uh, you will continue being manifested in our lives through your blessings and through, Lord, uh, the way your purpose in our lives will be fulfilled. We want to thank you now, Lord, and pray that, Father, what we have given here, what has been presented here by your servants, may be used for the purpose for which, Lord, uh, we will continue expanding the kingdom and Lord in the end glory and honor shall come back to, to, to you for this is our prayer of faith pray believing and trusting in Jesus mighty name Thank you, Elder Charles. We'll have our monthly hymn, Hymn 684, Jesus Bids Us Shine, led by the praise team. Kindly, it is the Brigade Anthem. Will your anchor hold? Will your anchor hold in the storms of life? When the clouds unfold, there will be When the storm tides leave and the cables strain, will your anchor drift or far remain? We have an anchor that keeps us. Savior's love. It is safely born till the storm we stand. For this well secured by the Savior's hand. And the cables pass from his heart to mine. Can defy the blessed through strength divine. We have an anchor that keeps us all. Sure, why the billows roar, fastened to the rock which cannot move, grounded 
from a deep in the Savior's love. It will firmly hold in the strains of me when the breakers are told the reef is near. Though the tempest rave and the wild winds blow, not an angry wave shall abide or flow. We have an God that keeps us all Set fast and sure while the billows roar Fastened to the rock which cannot move Grounded firm and deep in the Savior's love It will surely hold in the floods of death When the waters go in the latest breath of the rising tide we shall never fail while our hopes abide we in the veil we have an anchor that keeps us all steadfast and sure while the billows roll fastened to the rock which cannot move grounded from and deep appreciate the press team. We'll now have our readings from Exodus chapter 4 verse 1 to 11 and Colossians chapter 3 verse 20 to 25, which will be read by Obama and Daniel. Our first, our first reading comes from the book of Exodus chapter 4 verse 1 to 11. The Bible says, Moses answered, What if they do not believe me or listen to me and say, The Lord did not appear to you? Then the Lord said to, then the Lord said to him, What is that in your hands? A staff. He replied, The Lord said, Throw it on the ground. Moses threw it on the ground and it became a snake and he ran away from it. Then the Lord said to him, reach out your hands, reach out your hand and take it by the tail. So Moses reached out and took hold the snake and it turned back into a staff in his hand. This said the Lord, is so that they may believe that the Lord, the God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob it has appeared to you. Then the Lord said, put your hand inside your cloak. So, so Moses put his hand inside his cloak and when he took it out, it was leprous like snow. Now put it back into your cloak. He said, so Moses put his hand back into his cloak. And when he took it out, it was restored like the rest of his flesh. Then the, Lord said to, then the Lord said, if they do not believe you or pay attention to the first miraculous sign, they may believe the second. But if they do not, if they do not believe these two signs or listen to you, take some water from the Nile and pour it on the ground. The water you take from the river will become blood on the ground. Moses said to, him, said to the Lord, O oh Lord, I have never been eloquent, neither in, the, in, neither in the past nor since you have spoken to your servant. I am slow of speech and tongue. The Lord said to him, Who gave man his mouth? Who makes him deaf or mute? Who gives him sight or make him blind? Is it not the Lord? That's the word of God. My name is, my name is Constantine Obama, and I love Jesus Christ as my personal savior.
our second reading comes from the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 20 to 25. The Bible says, Children, obey your parents in everything, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, do not embitter your children, or they will become discouraged. Slaves, obey your earthly masters in everything, and don't do it while not on only when their eyes when their eye is on you. And, and to win their favor, but in sincerity of heart, reverence to the Lord, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as you are working for the Lord, not for men. Since you know you'll get an inheritance from the Lord, as a reward, it is the Lord Jesus you are serving. Anyone who does wrong will be repaid for their wrongs, and there is no favoritism. That is the world of the Lord. My name is Daniel, and I love Jesus as my personal Savior. Let us appreciate Daniel and Obama. We'll have him 127, Jesus Loves Me, led by the praise team. Then we'll welcome our preacher, Jacinta Anyango. Jesus loves me, yes I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. Tells me so. Jesus loves me, he who died. Heaven's gate to open wide. He will wash away my sin. Let his little child come in. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, loves me still. When I'm very weak and ill, from me shining throne. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me. He will stay close beside me all the way. If I love him when I die, he will take me home. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, I know. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Let us bow down for a word of prayer. Our Father, we come before you this morning. We say thank you for the gift of life. We say thank you for everything that you have provi provided us with. As we are going to learn your word, may you guide us with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. 
My name is Jacinta, and I am 12 years old. I'm from St. Catherine's School, and I love God as my personal savior. From what they have read, God called Moses, and Moses said, ask God, who are you? Then God told him, I am who am I? Then God told him to go, that he go and deliver the people of Israel. And Moses told God that what if they do not believe me or say that God did not appear to you? And God asked Moses, what is that in your hand? A staff, he replied. Then God told him to throw the staff down. Then he threw it down, then it changed to snake. Then God told him to take it by its tail. Then he take it by its tail, and it changed back into a staff. Then God told him again to put his hand inside his cloak. When he took it out, it was leprous as snow. Then God told him again to put his hand inside his cloak. When he took it out, the rest of his flesh was restored. Then God told him that if they will not believe the two signs, they may believe the third one. So God told him to, to go from Nile and take water. So he took water from the Nile and poured it on the dry ground. When he poured it on the dry ground, the water changed to blood. In all that, Moses was still scared. God told him to, Moses was still scared and go, he, he said that he was slow of speech and tongue, but God told him that he will help him. From the story, there are some lessons learned. We should answer God's call. When we are called by God, we should respond. We should have faith in God. Even when we pray, we should not give up in our prayers. We should be ready to serve God. And we, we can serve God in different ways. For example, we can serve God by? Yes, yes we can serve God by praying, singing, yes, yes worshiping. Yes, we can serve God by dancing and also preaching. We should be free to speak to Jesus, just like Moses. We should not be afraid to speak to him. God can use anyone. Like he used Moses, he can also use me and you. God is the creator. He's the one who created the world. He's the one who created the animals, the birds, and the human beings. God is powerful. From the three signs of Moses, is the one who created everything in this world. God is omnipresent. It means that God is everywhere and is there to save us and to help us. God is our helper. He's the one who helps us in all our problems. From the second reading, children should obey their parents. For if they do that, God promised them the long life and God will bless them. And also parents, you should be kind to your children and even if you discipline them, you should discipline them in love so that they cannot be discouraged. We should wait for God's reward and not for men. We should be patient. There will be reward for those who do good and obey for the wrongdoers, there will be no favorism with God. That's the word of God. Amen. And in Sunday school, we normally learn sit up. So if I say you stand, then you repeat after me. Sit up. I will always serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Sit up. I will always serve the Lord Jesus Christ. I will always serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Is there anyone who wants to give his life to God?
I would like to welcome our reverends. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is the word of the Lord to the people of the Lord. Praise be to God. Amen. Are we somewhere with the Boys and Girls Brigade? Yes. yes. Let us appreciate our speaker. I don't know. Okay. I don't know whether you know the factorial clubs. Do you know them? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, like that. What factor do we give her? Ten. Factor 10. So can we go together? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. All those belong to our, our speaker and the whole team. And did you realize that the, 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 the speaker was also involving the audience? That was a plus to her and to the whole fraternity of the Boys and Girls Brigade. The word of the Lord reminds us to teach children or to train them in the ways of the Lord and they will never depart from it. And therefore, the word of the Lord this morning is calling us to serve the Lord. Moses served the, served the Lord in his own weaknesses. He even said that he wasn't eloquent, but God used him so that he would minister to his people to lead them through out of Egypt. Then, when we come to the second reading, God is urging us to serve him. And he is using the, the word that is coming from Colossians chapter 3. And therefore, verse 24, that is where our theme was coming, whereby we are reminded that whatever we do, it is the Lord that we are serving. Praise be to God. And our speaker was so elaborate in giving us the list of the things that we can do as we serve the Lord. We have had a busy week with the Boys and Girls Brigade, and we say that everything that we are doing, let us remember that this is the Lord that we are serving, so we should do it perfectly well. They even did some baking. They even did some baking. And personally, I tasted the cake. It was perfect. I don't even know why we go to the cake makers. We have the cake makers here. Pre parents, are we together? We have the cake makers here. Wale ambao wakona biashara zao, eh, wamepata kompe. The cake was very sweet, and we want to pray that the Lord will continue to bless our children as they minister to us. Praise be to God. Amen. Back to the leader of the service. Thank you all for coming for today's service. It has come to the end of the service. Your leader for today was Wangoi Kariuki. I am saved. I love Jesus as my personal savior. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed week. It is now time to return the Bible to the vestry. Thank you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let us all be upstanding. When it is a children's service, we try to keep it as brief as possible. And because the word of the Lord has been spoken through all the acts of the worship that we have had here, may God bless you as you actualize that word in your life. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. And so I want to make an altar call. If there is anyone who feels this is the right time to come and accept Jesus Christ as your savior so that you may be able to serve him in a very appropriate way, 
this is the right time. Anyone feeling that it is the time to accept Jesus Christ as your savior? Anyone? Anyone. Even our children, those that have not declared Jesus Christ as your savior, it is the right time. So let us pray. God, we are coming to you this morning with a lot of thanksgiving. You have given us this day. It is the Boys and Girls Brigade Sunday. We have experienced your goodness as you took through these children with their teachers through the week. They did various things that you led them to do. Thank you, mighty Father. We glorify your holy name. Our dear God, you are reminding us that whatever we do, it is you we are serving. Thank you for leading the children to serve you in their own small ways. God Almighty, we pray that none of these children will go to the devil. That, dear God, you lead them in your, in your word so that they get to know you and get to serve you. We want to thank you for those that are, have come for the holidays. God, we pray that you're going to take care of them, that you're going to watch over them, that the evil one may not mislead them, misguide them, so that they stand well. We want to thank you for the families, and we pray, mighty Father, that where these children stay in their homes, that you may watch over them. We thank you for their parents. We thank you for the caretakers who take care of them, and we pray that all of them may teach them your ways. God, we are praying that you dismiss us with your blessings, that wherever we go, may we remain blessed, may we remain focused, may we continue to serve you. For all this we pray, believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now, I commend you to God, who is able to teach you his ways, who is able to watch over you. May he give you his peace, and may the peace of God, which surpasses all human understanding, Keep you in the knowledge, the love, and the wisdom of God Almighty, the Father. And also his son, Jesus Christ. Continue to know him as your Lord and your Savior. And may the blessings of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, be with you and remain with you now and forever. Amen. 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 Somebody dance, we 
Tembea kwenye baraka 